The FHFA reports to Congress on its progress on achieving the strategic initiatives of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and HUD is widely praised for the changes to its reverse mortgage program that will help seniors avoid foreclosure. Ahead on Tuesday's News Wrap. The Federal Housing Finance Agency's activities in 2014 to achieve the strategic goal of maintaining foreclosure prevention activities and fostering resilient housing markets included HARP outreach, loss mitigation strategies, and non-performing loan sales, according to FHFA's 2014 report to Congress released Monday. One of the things FHFA did in 2014 in the area of loss mitigation and foreclosure prevention was reviewing the Home Affordable Refinance Program for the GSEs to determine if any impediments existed to keep borrowers from participating in the program. Also in 2014, FHFA and the GSEs reviewed and made enhancements to requirements for foreclosure alternatives, forbearance plans, and rate reset notifications. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac announced in July the expansion of home retention solutions for standard and streamlined modifications, enabling eligible borrowers with marked-to-market -market LTV ratios below 80 percent to obtain a loan modification. In August 2014, Freddie Mac completed its first bulk sale of deeply delinquent non-performing single-family residential mortgage loans to private investors, totaling about $596 million in UPB. Those affected by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development's decision on Friday, June 12, to allow servicers to allow surviving non-borrowing spouses in HUD's reverse mortgage program to stay in their home if the mortgage was originated prior to August 4, 2014, widely applauded the department's decision on Monday. Advocates issuing a joint statement praising HUD were National Consumer Law Center, California Reinvestment Coalition, Elder Abuse Program, Institute on Aging, National Housing Law Program, Project, Sandy Jolly, and Housing and Economic Rights Advocates. You can check out more on these stories and all the latest happenings in the industry right here on our site. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.